One major transition remained, though. Mm -hmm. How did the embryo get its nutrients? How did mm -hmm. that embryo inside the eggs? Right. So egg layers provided nutrients through the yolk encased in that less permeable barrier. Right. But the thing is, you were limited. So like when that egg was formed, that yolk, it was, you're just going to deplete until that's it's... That's all you have. That's all you have. The embryo has to be able to survive and develop enough with just whatever is in that yolk. Yeah. You, yeah. It's like uh, meal prepping, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly it's like exactly meal prepping. Like meal prepping. <laughs> I love it. Okay. It really is. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then what if you didn't want a meal prep and right. you're like, this I'm is not enough it. food. I'm, you know, later yeah. in the week and you're like, I'm starving. I'm still hungry. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. So what if instead you could provide nutrients to the embryo directly and continuously, continuously. throughout pregnancy? You could make your meals on the go. Right. Yeah. You could always have like a resource. Oh, I'll just, uh, there's a little dr snack drawer. Snack drawer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, these metaphors might not work. They're going a little bit off the rails, but I really like we it. Can, we can reel it back in. <laughs>